Hey, you're talking to, uh, bye. <laughs> One of these days I'm actually going to do an intro correctly. Hey, this is Murder Assassin, and this is another uh, episode of The Wolf Among Us. Uh, Among Us, I kind of pronounced it weird. There is a lot of junk on my computer screen. Anyway, so we're going to continue with the story. Okay, we're on episode three then. Satapu Timona, bow wow wow. Our so, stories used to be so oh. simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and Oh, that's right. We found out he but ever since we moved to this turned awful Lily city, into a... Everything's gotten so confused. Snapped. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. Snow. She's alive. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once. And I'm not going to lose you again. I'm not oh, okay. going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. She looks like Holly. It's not Holly. It's her sister, Lily. Dag, get oh, Jack, please, bye. To pay down debt. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. My name is Nerissa. You can well, call me the Little Mermaid. Nerissa, I've got some questions. Thanks. Open arms. Oh my god. I like Beauty and Beast. And then he's like, oh, It's effing what Crane. It? It's the animation's crane. weird. And then he saw us in the magic mirror, but he smashed it because he was angry. But that's where I'm starting off. So I'm going to rush back to the office and punch Crane in the dick. Let's go. I'm ready to click Q for the dick punching button. Aw, oh, man. Okay. Nothing but our scary hat, I'm gonna freaking throw everything I own in the garbage. Uh... That fucking creep. Spineless little fucking rat. Crane? Ugh, God, you'd think you'd know a person. Awkward. You have to tell her. I know! What's going on? What did you find up there? You know, other than the... I just need to find Snow. Why? What's going on? Dear Beast. I like Beast. Oh, that's Shit. right. Crane's Forget crane. it's broken. Oh, Bigby, calm down. Everything's going to be fine, okay? It's going to be fine. Will someone please explain this to me? <laughs> crane has I don't know been stalking Snow White. The room is covered in evidence. Crane might be following Snow. If I can find her, I can... God damn it! Okay, it's it's going to be okay. Where did you see her last? Didn't I send her back to did Crane? She where she was oh going? my lord! She took to the business office to prepare for the funeral. So Lee's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the trip trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. Trip trap? Are you drinking? When? <laughs> right now. They were on their way Leave out. your marriage problems out of this. We're busy. Omg! The the trip trap? Are you drinking? What about you? <laughs> We're getting out of Sleazy Hotel. What? Snow's... Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just... Please be careful. What do you mean? Tell her, and you should tell her. But... What are you uh, trying to say? Yeah. You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. Oh. Uh, but he's... Okay. <laughs> I don't know. This is so. Oh, can you tell I'm recording during the day? I'm so much more awake. I do it for the ton of. Glack, glack. I ain't talking about no burn up. Well, that and I just add a bunch of. Uh, Jelly Ranchers. <laughs> so I'm like hyper. Manolo. No, no, man oh my gosh. Look around the dark um, um, funeral place um, area. Look around it. Look, look around. Oh my gosh, I freaking quit. I hate my life. I hate this game. And I quit her. Okay, so they're doing the troll send off, right? It's in the port of Polly. Blah, blah, blah. Why are you glaring at me? I won't um, offend you. By claiming one day that that the pain of losing Lily will ever subside. Yeah, don't interrupt because she's right there, so. I know as well as you that it, it will never subside. 
But I also know that Who's Lawrence? The memory of Lawrence. Oh, Prince Lawrence? Yes. Oh. He's looking uh, better ish. I mean better than almost sorry, dead. I, uh, I didn't see you there. And it is I old not. That I'd like to talk about, about as well as you think. I haven't had any other um It's never been as bad as when you saw me at least. How she could be I was angry at first. When I heard that Lily was getting a funeral. And Holly was getting closure. I wanted that too. Aww. And I wanted it for Faith. But then I remembered Faith lived a story Lily never did. She had her adventure. She got to live in the light of forever after with me. For a while. Aww. So let Lily have the better finish. It all evened out. In the end. I'm sorry, Lawrence. I know, Sheriff. And thanks for saving my life. You're welcome. Take care of things, okay? Thank you. I'll miss worrying about you. I'll miss our fights. I'll miss you. Holly. Should I be... Is everything okay? No, not you. Holly, it's... He wasn't fucking invited. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. What, Not what did I? What he did. What did I do? Holly, I'm sorry, but I had to come. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here. After you lie and say you'll check first. Wait. Oh, Holly, wait. That was Crane. Just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Big B could do anything about it. Yeah, I was about to say, why are you angry at me all the time? I'm telling you the truth. I thought Don't we were cool. Cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me Big B gives a shit about this. I want to hear Holly, them talk more. It's going to be okay. Miss her name? What's her name again? Oh. I'm sorry, Holly. I, I didn't know he put her down the witching well. Big B cares, Holly. He's trying to help. And I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. But this one isn't on him. Why are you here anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? Ah! <laughs> I'm here to talk to Snow. Oh, really? Yes, Holly. This is serious. Okay, okay, look. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat far away from the ceremony, all right? Huh? Look, Holly, I know how this must... No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. I felt the same when I thought Don't Snow was dead, up. sort of. Don't Except she wasn't my sister. And when sister. the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. You hear me? Of course. You won't even know I'm here. Let's discontinue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. Poor guy. It's your turn to talk. Prince Lawrence. What's his name again? Crank, crank, cran. Crank, Greg, Gran. This better be wildly <laughs> important. It's been hard enough making a connection with these people. When you pull this kind of stuff, it just resets the clock. Lily was Crane's prostitute. I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least Lily, and making her look like you while he was, you know. This is... I don't even know what to say right now. I really don't. I'm just trying everything I can right now to not picture it. To not picture him. Poor I'm guy. sorry, Snow. And I'm sorry I had to be the one to tell you. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's been doing? Because please, Bigby, don't confuse things. Deposing Crane would be the next step. And if we get this wrong, it would mean more than our jobs. We'd get kicked out of Fabletown for messing all this up. Uh, I'll just show her the facts instead of the cute relationship route. You took a cab here, right? Yeah. I'll drive. Snow? Nerissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. 
Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be... Um, no, I understand. It's just that something's come up. No, I get it. Take your time. It won't take long. Aww. Freaking Big B. I have so many feels for him. How'd it go? At the motel? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? No? Yeah. Lily was killed there. It was an awful mess. Oh. I'm sorry. Nerissa! Yeah, um... Uh, coming! I don't know, see, I, I don't know who I should tell, who I should tell stuff to and who I shouldn't, and, and how much information I should give. That's why I said Lily was killed then rather than out in cr- Wait, 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 easy now, girl. You out in Crane. Goes, the first thing in a visit, you say, how do you do? How do you do? That way, it's proper. Now is really not the time for whatever you Jagovs are planning to do. Well, isn't that the thing of it? Plans. Except it isn't our plans you should be concerning yourself with. We'll snip to the chase for all Is sex. Crane their leader or whatever? Bird told us that you're fitting to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, and we leave you alone. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna Just rip his head off. Vacation is all. Don't even have to go anywhere. Just sit in your office and whistle to heaven for a few short days. Are you working for Crane? Did he send you? No, see now, you're already asking too many questions. Just pay attention. <sighs> so what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone, and we leave you to yours? I'm afraid to... Brother, speak your mind. Fastly now. What's it gonna be? If they I shoot... Hurt anyone. Holly... That don't sound like a yes to me. Oh no. Always wanting to do things the fun way. Oh no! Ladies, See, I was... gentlemen, invertebrates, please, rest easy. This is not... What the hell is going on? What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're unhappy to report that things did not go as Oh my gosh, if they kill anybody, I s Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that, it ain't any of your- What deal? Uh... Settle down, settle down now. Yeah, everyone just stay where you are, nice and natural. I'm not making any deal with you. So just get the fuck out of here and leave these people He's, alone. They're gonna shoot. Nah. What did I tell you? What did I say? Ali? You think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You think you could just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, darling. It was just a simple business transaction. Yeah, you couldn't have shouldn't these have. fucking freaks are not getting away with this. Holly, don't move. Yeah. Listen to your lady, love. Holly, let me handle this. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead whore. Oh. I'm gonna kill you! Oh my god. Don't kill anybody. I swear to everything. <gasps> I'll freaking quit. I got it, dumb. Am I gonna turn into a- oh, I can key the heck out of this. Am I gonna turn into a wolf, though? Oh, no. <gasps> Big B? Oh, the shoulder. Great, just the shoulder. Oh, my God, if she ends up dead? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Belly full of stones, huh? <laughs> I'm, I, <laughs> I was not prepared. I was like, they have guns. I should do whatever, whatever I can to let them not kill anybody. Oh my lord, lordy lord. <laughs> Why am I such a tit? I hate everything. Well, maybe trolls have big rib cages, and when they're in their original forms, they're more powerful and strong. Oh. <sighs>
they'd be shirtless though. I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're gonna be sore. Bigby, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fable Town physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. Wow, hello. <laughs> Cute. Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. Yeah, I want to know. Else. They all make yeah, it. Yeah, I want to know that. They're fine. Okay, good. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived. So I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. Juniper and spring titans, water, baby. eh? They'll be fine. Just I remember so. what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. <laughs> nice save. And uh, eat more chicken. Your blood pressure's through the proverbial roof. <sighs> I'm not the one who creates the situations. I'm just the one who has to deal with them. So you say. So how long can I go without my shirt being put back on? <laughs> Am I right? Cute. Cute. So, to recap, Crane watched me through the magic. No! To cover his room at the open arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. That about cover it? And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan, currently. But I, I don't know. There's no other lead. This is it. Just wait for the mirror. Yeah. What the hell is going on? There is a tarot card. I don't know what don't the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if... I mean, this is gonna sound crazy, but do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him. I get it. But do you really think he killed those women? I'm as confused as you are, to be honest. Yeah, I don't want to jump to conclusions. I'm seventy-five. He was a conniver, a, a coward, involved, a definitely. liar, and I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he held me in his thoughts. Her baby, like murdering prostitutes. Well, we don't know if he did that. Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Was that? A deliberate tonight, me like way. mess up when she that said murdering prostitutes. Really terribly, I mean even worse than it did. Hmm. I'm glad you were there. I just feel bad for Holly, really. Yeah. Time heals everything eventually. At least I hope so, for her sake. Can I um, ask you a question? It's kind of personal. <gasps> Do it! And I don't want to offend you, but after tonight, it's on my mind. Why? What's on your mind? It's just, when stuff hits the fan, like, like it did tonight, it feels like before we came to the city, it feels kind of like home. Mm. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way deep inside, you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong. It's probably instinctual, like a rush of adrenaline. Because it gives you an excuse to just, you know, stop pretending. Why even bring this up? I should have dot dot dotted! I guess it doesn't matter. Ah! <laughs> I hate my life. Uh, guys, we have a problem. What is it? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Are you kidding? What do you mean, missing a piece? Yes, it's, uh, it's not here. Crane must have taken a shard with him. Oh, the dick. I can't believe this. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. Well, the mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? What, beastie sit boy? Sit and wait until it mends itself. Beast boy. We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. We can't depend on the mirror. What exactly is the hard way? Talking to a witch? His, things, his desk, everything. Uh oh. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. 
smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. We can still solve this ourselves. I know Never that Never mind that. Come help me look. Hmm. Poor Buffkin. You okay, buddy? Hi, Mr. Bigby. I can still help you catch Crane, you know. Oh, yeah? Yes. I saw him jump on the telephone before he left. He called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. His witch? Yes, it sounded like the one he got his snow glamours from. Hmm. That's a lead, the 13th floor. Look, uh, the whole mirror thing, it's not your fault, all right? Y you mean it? Yeah. You didn't see anything else, did you? No, not, uh, not especially. Why didn't you try and stop him? What do you want me to do, yank on his hair? I'm only three feet tall. There are limits here. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll just see if I can do anything about this. You do that. <laughs> you do that. That's a lead. Well, let's read the letters first. So you'd pay to have the plaster redone by blah, 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 blah. Falling off the fucking walls. Please fix that! I can't run out that room as long as none of you promised me a sense of the fix. Well, guess what? It's worse now. Get your sh. <laughs> I love Toad. He's my... Uh, I say I love Toad and yet I always have him second priority. He made a priority. Did Crane ever do any work? Yeah. Only when Cole was around. King Cole? Oh, King Cole, yeah. 2 -oh something. What is it? It's the key to his room at the open arms. Mm. You still haven't told me what was in there. I want to know. I need to know. A lot of blood and flowers. I keep thinking back. I keep replaying moments in my head. Interactions with him when he'd catch me in the elevator or bump into me outside. <sighs> There's only so much you can repress, you know? Yeah. Snow, you, you couldn't have known. No, I could have. Mm, that's what to say. Come on, let's keep looking. Uh, never mind, that's a bit personal. <laughs> the office of okay. <laughs> Business something. The ring of he ripped out. Torn out. Oh yeah? Buffkin, do you know what was here? It's a ring at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Wait, what witch? Buffkin overheard Crane set up a meeting with a witch. Well, yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, you glamours from. It must be about this ring. Why not mention this before? No one asked me. Buffkin! <laughs> and I'm hungover. I'm sorry. He set the meeting Stop at Stop drinking! Tonight. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. <laughs> is the mirror fixed or is it? Different? I love when you people show up out of nowhere after what they've done like and that was it. Okay. nothing. And I'm sorry I said anything. And demand you. stuff to have well, been did, done alright. I know. The cat's out of the bag. So can we find the dull pervert or not? I try this to. This isn't but... your concern. Oh, it isn't? No. And frankly, it's none of your business. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. We Look, don't, though. This just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror, so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. Good job. A.M. or P.M.? P.M. A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. Why do you even care about this? Why? I'm invested in this enterprise we call Fable Town. <laughs> Literally invested. Since it's mostly my money that keeps the whole thing running. 
I want pizza. I hear that Crane has been killing fables? And there's no system in place to catch him? Look, we know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. Excuse you. Who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? No, Yikes. Who elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years now. Unofficially is not officially. What a dick. You can obviously handle this, so let's drop it. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. She can't handle it, right? All right, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying. Do you see how quick she bounced back? Thanks to me. And that he'll be there at two. So that gives us a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours, the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. Yeah, yeah. Just point in the direction you want me to check first. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles That too? How do they tie in? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they, they work never for? go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else. The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. That has to be our focus. If Holly has uh. Lily's things, that'd probably be the safer bet. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock. <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Before you had no interest, and now it's a crime scene. We can't just let Bluebeard run amok in Crane's place. Ha! He's after something. I just don't know what it is. We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. <sighs> or the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And is upstairs right now in the penthouse. <laughs> couch, couch. Dude, couch. when was the last time you made a freaking living room for it? This is how a Real talk. Do it. So this I is haven't how since my sister moved in. It. Wherever you go, I'll go to and the my friends are born. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. Whispers right in front Where of you. Where are you gonna go, Bigby? Oh my lord. Do I have to pick? Find the witch. So you leave Crane alone? Aww. I leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. Uh. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. 